Uh, my name is Wes Sukstorf. Uh, we farm in the Fairfield and Waverly area, and we farm mostly uh, wheat, and then follow that up with some legume crops, such as lentils and garbs. First heard about Brimstone Glacier last year from my local Wilbur Ellis rep. Uh, he just came to me before harvest when we're getting ready to look at doing our burn down and came up with this new mixture and thought we'd give it a try and see how it compared to what we'd been doing in the past. One thing led to another as we were putting it, tank mixing it with brimstone and in place and putting it out. We noticed right away that there was something special to that mix. When we examined that mix and saw that we were speeding up the burn down process by possibly five to eight days sooner than our previous mix, we went and told Vaughn that we maybe need to look at this a little bit harder and then it kind of just snowballed effect from there. My first experience with it was about the first of August of last year of 2017, uh, right before harvest. Uh, we went out on a lentil field just out south of Fairfield on Wes's and custom applied brimstone and glacier EA out and burned down his lentil crop, noticing that we were speeding up the process almost by a week which was tremendous, especially for these guys to get in the field when uh, harvest is such a crunch time anyways. Compared to what we've done in the past, I was extremely happy with this. I think it got us in the field faster. Uh, it was a cleaner burn down. It burned down some of the weeds we've had trouble with in the past, such as dog fennel and others that we weren't getting a complete burn down. You might lose the top of the plant, but the bottom would stay green. Uh, with this mix, uh, we had a complete burn to the ground. It dried it up faster. It made it an easier and faster harvest. Uh, the desiccation process around here is important because time is money. And if we're waiting around for crops to get harvested, we could enter a weather event like a hailstorm, rainstorm, anything like that slows the process down. These guys are on a timeline, you know, to get the crop off because that all gets fall planted back to winter wheat. If we can speed that process up, be more efficient and cost effective, it's a win-win for everybody. The timing to get back to harvest is just so important. I mean, we're, we're in a part of the country where we can go from a nice, warm, hot harvest one day to a day later, we might be rained out for two, three weeks. And that has happened in the past. So by using glacier and brimstone, where we're in the field maybe three to four days faster and sooner, it just takes a little bit of stress off of getting that harvest done, getting ready to plant the next year's crop. I think other growers should try it just to mix it up a little bit. You know, we are in an era right now where our previous products we used may go away. They're not working as well because we've maybe overused them, whether it's with our pre-harvest burn down or our, our pre-planting. Uh, it just gives, it opens it up to new options for weed control.